This is the moment of unity for the players. We have seen them do this before, sometimes after kickoff. The other night, it was in the sixth minute of a game that was played in Philadelphia. Just about set for action. Gotham FC on the road. They're in white with the black trim. North Carolina Courage in blue with the white trim. Didasco's corner went near post. It's flicked up for grabs. Murphy got a piece. It's still loose in the box. And in that scramble, the ball is cleared far side. Players first, humans first, and then we'll start to worry about what's taking place on the field. Dominia. Open is Williams in the box. Lynn Williams shot. And Lynn Williams can't believe the miss. Lynn Williams' positioning is fantastic. It forces Lewandowski to pinch in, doesn't get a good look on it. And then this is touch, takes her away from the goal. She does try to look near post against Kaylin Sheridan, just pulls it wide. And that's really been their Achilles heel. Sam Mewis, who came back from Man City, but then has been injured since the, the Olympics. Crystal Dunn, Abby Dulcombe. That's a good idea, wasn't it? The Zerboni touch goes to Ali Long. Put it too far ahead, the touch was too heavy. North Carolina coming back on that pass. Driven by Williams right at Sheridan. Allison loses. Flag stays down, Dabinia, two in the box. Williams, and again, the finish, not good. Really good position, keeps herself on, on side, and that's not an easy ball to deal with it, and then just lays it across, and Lynn Williams knows she has to do better with that one. Just makes a mess of it, gets underneath it, thinking about it too much. I don't think she expected that ball to make it its way through. Zerboni with it. Dabinia, no one's closing. Dabinia will have a shot. Stopped and not spilled by Sheridan. Speck. Stardasco, good read. The shot though, right at goal. Matthias, 1v1 at the moment. This cross in, Williams with a header. That's her third miss. The second half, able to bring on players like Amy Rodriguez. Carly Lloyd in the box, couple of moves there. Carly's shot, stopped, and then covered up by Murphy. She protected that near side. Dorsey out of Duke University will push it. Sumi's side. Shot from Zerboni is stopped there by Murphy. Lloyd has time to turn and face goal. Leading spec. Still with it. Here's Carly. Got it out wider. Kawasumi in the box. The return was wide. Hurst was making a run in front. Already passed him a minute. That's a minimum. Foul there. Free kick here. It's going to end up being the last kick of the half. And Matthias is going to get a book, booking for a really persistent foul. Beyond 30 yards out, set into the box, and there was contact there. And the foul was given, and this should be it as well. On a Manu with that pass, two players down, play continues. Zerboni wide for Vadasco. Into the box, Zerboni was waiting for it. It bounces purse, go! Gotham leads! On a mid purse goal, they have taken the lead on their best opportunity of the day. They do finish. Linger around. It isn't a great ball in, but it's a missed clearance there in the end. Looks like from Ricardo, doesn't deal with it well, finds itself bouncing through. Fortuitously, right to Mitch Purse as she takes it the first time. Excellent finish. Just no look, slots it past. Casey Murphy does not come off her line. What position is best for, yeah. for Purse? It's settled. An opportunity here. Carly Lloyd in the box. Last second tackle there. Prevents her from getting a shot at goal. It was Kurtz. Driven. Other post, but right at goal for Murphy. Curling it in, comes out towards Dabinia, trying to settle, pushing it back, quick shot, over the bar. 
Didn't miss by much. Also, you have Amy Rodriguez, one of the best vertical players in this game, to be able to threaten him behind. Can you get her on the field? There's a quick shot, and that's Murphy who punched it forward. It's an overpowering shot. Oh, look at this attempt. She just gets through the back of it, has loads of space, slows down too slowly, and then ultimately gets this one. Interesting move, more in the sense that you might have thought before if Rodriguez started that maybe Jessica McDonald or Lynn Williams wouldn't. Now it's the big three all out there. Nice ball. Stretching that North Carolina defense here is Anamanu in the box. Nice cut. Anamanu shot through traffic, blocked, and then it goes through. 2 nothing for Gotham. I think Purse got a touch. If so, it's her second. Big goal for Gotham. And Anamanu and Purse have been so good as a partnership up top. Drinks, understanding each other's movements. Keep an eye on Purse. She's on the top of your screen, just pulls it away, allows Anamanu to be able to get 1v1 versus Kurtz and just goes against the grain, cuts her back onto her favorite right foot, and then it's Purse that follows up and ultimately screens the initial attempt from Anamano and is in a great position to be able to put this one back. So she gets both of the goals today, seventh and eighth of the season. Johnson, low, Lloyd, turning, looking, shooting at goal, and Carly Lloyd's got one, three nothing, Gotham. Putting an exclamation point on this game. And this team is just playing with so much freedom, with so much joy. They weathered the storm in the first half. And then when they find themselves up 2-0, just so much time and space on the early on in this first half. This time just understands where the pressure is coming from with Sullivan, uses her pressure to be able to get herself into a great goal scoring position right here, just backs into O'Sullivan. And there's a touch to Abel, and you can just see. Here's Pickett on the left side. End line cross. It hops up, Dabinia brings it down, Dabinia shot. Saving that off the post, it looked like, after Sheridan got the first piece of it. Well, it's a great strike, but look at that save from Kaylin Sheridan. Just a strong right hand to at least get enough on it to ricochet it off the post. Maybe the saying she missed it. Go, go, go. And the pick, Matthias. Dominia, right at goal. And Jessica McDonald will be the other. Well, I certainly think that plays into it for North Carolina and just all the emotional stress that they've been through as well. It takes so much more out of you than, than you actually expect, even if you feel fresh coming into a game. Had an excellent game, obviously with the two goals, but she did a lot more in this game. First half didn't have much, but in the second half, she cashed in. In the last game, and still found herself on the bench today. That's because Ellie Long is back in the starting 11. And there's a French international, turns 36 later this month. Runners in the box, played across, swept away, and given right back by James. Gotham keeps it, in for Lloyd! And she missed that one, and she can't believe it either. Getting on the back shoulder, splitting Matthias and Kurtz, just getting in, no, she has to do better, doesn't typically miss from that area, just pulls it wide, has to get a little too much on the cross. How would you describe Carl? The final pass in the end that's let them down. There's been some real bright moments in this game for North Carolina that they need to hold on to regardless of the outcome of this game. Still can continue to be one of the most dangerous teams going forward in this league. We're waiting on the end to see if she is also going to be checking in. And she is for Carly Lloyd. Freeman squaring. And that's going to do it. Final whistle, final score. Gotham FC have beaten it five now with a three to nothing victory over the North Carolina Courage.